All right, Song of Horrors. Or Song of Horror. I don't know if Song of Horror is, is actually on the... Oh, it is Song of Horror. Okay, good. All right. I've heard some pretty good things about this. So, I have high hopes. We will see. I'm going to move my webcam back. <laughs> Thank you, Catholic, for the 73 months. Appreciate it. Yeah, you got more pizza. <laughs> you are starving for once when you actually eat Yeah, I'm like really fucking hungry for some reason. If you like, if you need it, I won't eat it all. I don't need anything past the second one. Access. Access? What did you guys access? <laughs> New game. Choose game. Episodes. Settings. Let's go to settings. Diff game. Wait, what? You can't even be HP Lovecraft insane. You can only be Edgar Oh, these are the difficulty settings. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I've never read any of English. Uh, Deutsch. English. Duh. Highlight hotspots, visual cues when listening, vibration. Let's. Why does it not have my monitor's resolution? I guess we'll be 1080, no 1440. Shadow quality. Uh, we're going all the way in, baby. My waifu folder? No. We're throwing chromatic abrasion. And then restart, because it's telling me I need to. Also be right back. I need to use the washroom. Watch the game. <laughs> I don't remember how he does. How do you access it? Is it this way? Wow. I like mess. I don't know. I don't want to be that guy. What should we turn on instead? No, you can't see that. I don't know how to play Half Life. Ah! Hi. Man, skirts are so convenient. I only have to take off my underwear oh my when I God. pee. 
Ayumi. <laughs> Lily's just trying to keep the stream PG. I applaud her efforts. <laughs> Love you, cutie. No, I left it on. Corpse Party taught me that you don't need to remove your underwear to go number two. As long as you keep your poop butter. <laughs> Alright, let's see this game. I'm interested. Thank you, Calaleek, by the way, for the 73 months. It's a very long time. I've heard this game is legitimately terrifying. That's all I really know about it. This one's great because um, if you die with any of your characters, if you die in the game, you die for real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Satania. I'm like really excited for this game. That's why I saved it for so late in the stream. I can turn it up. No, 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 no. I have no. I also lowered it in general. You need headphones and a controller for immersion. I mean, I'm going to use a keyboard and mouse. 1998, that's when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dressed up as the dog that steals Cherno's melon bread. Daniel's apartment. Before I was dressed up as Ro. Sweet home. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I'm so handsome. Oh, I need to capture it differently. Sorry. Hold on, chat. It's one of those games that doesn't like display capture. How's that? Is that amazing now? Is it smooth AF? Smooth AF? Bad? Alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. Some games are a little weird with OBS, but it's fine. Be right back, chat. <laughs> Cozy. <laughs> Chat, my skirt keeps falling down. Thoughts slash comments. <laughs> Alright, we'll try this. Maybe this is better. How's that? We buttery now, chat. We smooth AF. <laughs> it looks the same. <laughs> Wait, maybe it's because the resolution's fucked up. Is it smooth on my end? Yes. Very smooth on my end, actually. That's definitely the worst. Window... Window captures the best. Oh, shit. Is it like... Watchable chat.
Man, the toilet drain stinks, as usual. Cute. <laughs> Look, chat. It's the Catherine sheep. No, I'm quaffering. Wait, does that mean I'm cheating on you? If I'm seeing the Catherine sheep? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I plan to spend my Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. No, Miku, calm down. <laughs> Miku, stop. <laughs> my videotape collection. I've got quite a few westerns and cop movies. I can't wait to see the next X-Files episode. Shit. I sh <laughs> if you were to dress up as the Mahoha ending, you wouldn't be here because it doesn't exist. Shit, I could have sworn I took out the trash. God damn Some leftover coffee. Not my drug of choice on a Friday evening. I already like the writing in this game. Squeaky clean, just like it should be. I'm not really hungry. Plus, I didn't get any groceries this week. I have such high hopes for this game. God, I hope I don't get disappointed. Oh, yeah. Not the greatest pizza I've had, but it hit the spot. That's how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> I should sell that old thing once and for all. What's my costume? Kurumizawa Satanya McDo. I'm turning the lights off and going to bed. Bye, chat. <laughs> hmm. Finally, My old flashlight. It saved me more than once in the great outdoors. Those bring back some really good memories. Satanic, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know what I meant. I don't think you want my pizza hand to touch it. <laughs> Hello. Daniel, it's me again. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hadn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier Damn. for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. You eat so much. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. For Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, oh. and if he gives you the manuscript, <laughs> don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. I don't think he's supposed to be Australian. I can't actually tell what his accent's going for. Again, another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit, even I should be too important for that. I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company. Or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Daniel Neuer, a bloody alcoholic. Shin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by evening. <laughs> Even Friday evening. I like this guy's salt. But if I could find Husher, I have a 
feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. No. Star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. Yeah, this is good writing so far. The Husher Mansion is home to writer Sebastian P. Husher, his wife Catherine, their two children, Julia and Saul, and their housekeeper. <laughs> that was my evil burp. Prelude, a Friday like any other. <laughs> she would never do that. She'd throw her waist in the wrong bin and that's, kill that. That's true. <laughs> Why take the side door when I can take the main one right here or there? Jokes aside, that was hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. Is that music? I'd better take a look. <laughs> Will I be playing unpatched Mass Effect Andromeda for horror? I'm not trying to kill people. Each character has their own light source. To turn it off and on, press F. Once it's on, you can choose the direction in which you want to point the light. To do so, use mouse. This will allow you to illuminate specific areas and also help you interact with objects that might not be right in front of your character. Continue. Oh, I have to hold escape. Okay. Is that someone playing a music box? This is an interesting perspective. I don't think I've played a horror game that was... Like, I've never played Alan Wake. So I can't say I've played one that... is in this third-person style. I'm used to playing first-person ones. I actually never played Silent Hill. I mean, yeah, Resident Evil, but I've never played a Silent Hill game in my life. That's weird. What are all those suitcases doing here? Okay. No, but you're so hot. <laughs> you. <laughs> no, that's not where the music is coming from. <coughs> the alarm seems disabled. Much better. If it goes off, I'll have a lot of explaining to do. They look like travel guides. The clock marks 12. Guess it needs fixing. Husher is in a lot of these framed pictures. The rest must be family, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Those paintings are depressing. I'd never put them up in my place. If you need to chill, go for it. You've been lovely. I'm just saying, in case you want to lay down. Uh, it is a pretty fucking long cable. Look at all those bottles. And to think they almost ruined my life. Recovering alcoholic, baby. I've heard you never really fully beat an addiction. It's like really easy to slip back into it if you like let yourself indulge even just one time. Yeah, like, it's, so it's a constant battle. Does it use to be? What? No. 
history and art magazines. I've got nothing against them, but I bet they'd bore me to death. The term a lot of people use is abstinent alcoholic. Yeah. Hold on, I'm readjusting myself. Oh, yeah. Chad, hold on. We're missing a cool background effect. Are you guys fucking ready to get spooked out of your mind? <clears throat> hold on. <clears throat> All right, you're good. You see that, chat? There's ghosts in here. Ah! 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 Stay away. Stay away. Gone. Be gone. Be gone, ghosts. <laughs> I'm actually going to leave the lights off for a bit. I need a break from the red room. Sitting in a red room for like seven and a half hours. Need a break with a black room. A chessboard really suits the highbrow feel of this house. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Thank you, Duo, over the 74 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Holy shit, there's a lot to click on. Japanese swords. Anything from that country is popular now thanks to those stupid cartoons. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, I can't play this game. I'm attacked. I am personally attacked. I'm offended. I'm writing a complaint right now. Books, books, and more books. Is he wrong? No, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's absolutely correct. Grammar and reference books. I guess these come in handy when Husher is writing. Mostly noir and police thrillers. Now these I like. Not those stupid mangoes or whatever they talk about these days. Jeb, jeb, jeb. Looks like the drawer's jam shut. Jam, I love jam. I need to find some bread. <laughs> A respectable amount of books. You'd only call this respectable? This is ridiculous. This is so fucking many books. If I break that, my grandsons will finish paying it off. History fiction. Fun to read, although I prefer the newspaper. A camera or other fake camera. All right, can we go upstairs? No, the music isn't coming from upstairs. No. That sounds like it's coming from in here. So now it's in my left ear. Oh, the piano. Oh. Feels the loudest over here. How was Corpse Party? Pretty good. I liked it. Actually, it was quite a bit better than uh, Blood Drive. It actually has a proper atmosphere to it. Hmm. Thought for sure it would be in here.
It sounds so close. No, it's definitely not coming from this. It's like in my right ear now. Oh, it's in like my left. That's why I keep thinking it's down here. Or there's a room next to this room? Maybe. Seems to be really close now, maybe through this door. You have found an examinable item. Inspect it to gain information by pressing E. A letter for Husher, found by Daniel in the author's mansion, post stamped on August 1st, 1998. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we were all impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favor of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store, an ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps I should say ear. The melody, Sebastian. It's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. I had never heard the song before, and my attempts at finding the score or the name of the composer have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. Uh-oh. Interesting. It's... Alright, the, the lip syncing is a little bit to be desired. But it is a good looking game. Are you guys hearing this? Thank you, by the way, Bunyan. I don't think I thanked you for the 37 months. I'd hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. Uh, and all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. This is fucking awesome. Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes the worst of all. A vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations, nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered, I was going to die there. Oh, yeah. This is my kind of spooky game. I'm excited. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. 
We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Mm. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher mm. place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house in the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay. I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course. Ah, don't Same scare me, Heaton. <laughs> it's been three days since Daniel entered the Husher mansion. No one has heard from him since. I am dressed up as Satania. Oh shit, I can be Sophie Von Denand. Life is... Uh, sorry. Try not to burp into the microphone. Life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive prosperity she has always longed for. Thank you, Sukaros, for the 40 months. Etienne Bertrand. Etienne, a confident, a self-made man, is sales manager at Wake Publishing, making him Daniel's direct supervisor. In his role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etienne is slowly giving him greater responsibilities. Although they love to complain about working together, they have grown fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work that neither of them like to admit. Oh. Oh. Is it on a timer, or does it just suck battery like crazy? Alexander and his wife, Masha, are housekeepers at writer Sebastian P. Husher's mansion, watching over the author's children as one of their many household duties. The Russian couple, of Christian faith, moved to Europe in the early 80s in an attempt to flee from a mysterious past that Alexander rarely, if ever, speaks about. Is she a cop? No, I don't think so. Yeah, looks like a mechanic. Alina is a passionate, hands-down type of learner. Always eager to get her hands dirty at work. Happy and energetic. She's traveled the world with her sister in search of a better life for them both. Now working as an electrical technician at Monolith Security, Alina is part of a highly qualified tech support team repairing high-end home security systems for exclusive clients. Alright. Not a bad cast of characters. Oh god. I'm gonna start with this guy. <laughs> You're my first. You're gonna die, buddy. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Yeah, those ghosts, I love them. <laughs> Chad, admire the ghosts in the background more. I'll still probably do a couple's hour, a couple hours of Luigi's Mansion today. Probably finish off the stream with it. Wait, maybe. Hold on, I'm still trying to see why. It's a bit weird on OBS. Maybe it's that. Maybe I'll turn V-Sync on. I don't know. Anyways, let's explore, shall we? It's jammed. I'll have to go through the house to get there. I cannot read anything in this newspaper. It got wet in the rain. One. The Husher Mansion. 
Got wet in the rain. Same. Mr. Sebastian's travel guides. The clock is in the entrance is off. A note found in the mansion entrance written by Catherine, Husher's wife, on September 4th, 1998. My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been very nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back, and I don't want them playing with it. <clears throat> is it like a smoothish 30 FPS, or is it still a choppy, chopping mess of chop? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very dark in here. Smooth. All right, that's good. Ms. Catherine and my wife play chess once in a while. I am not smart enough to play that game. Dude, Sam, I don't know how it fucking works. <clears throat> Little Saul was taking piano classes. I wonder if he still is. <clears throat> All of the bottles are out of place, and the table is covered with dust. Why is this? Where is Masha? <clears throat> Two forty P Master Race, dude, you're watching the high def stream right now. Man, yeah, don't worry. In like like two hours fifteen, I'll play Luigi's Mansion three. Yo, can this guy play piano? Dude, nice. I see nothing unusual in the piano. Decorative fruit, the expensive porcelain kind. Ah, I see he's sarcastic. Once, Masha and I hid beneath this table so that the children would not see us carrying their Christmas gifts. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely could have been Carisu as well. Christina. How did that mirror get so filthy? Mr. Sebastian and Ms. Catherine when they were younger. I took some of these myself. Mm. All perfectly in order. None of them are used. Just an ordinary matchbox. Yay, matches. I have an infinite flashlight, though. Why would I use matches other than to light? Wait, am I holding a candle? That's a candle, not a flashlight. Never mind. Thought it was a flashlight. I should take a look on this floor first. Oh. Hi. So he wants me to explore this floor some more. Will do. Mr. Sebastian's favorite coat is missing. I do not think he is home. Alarm system is off. Yay. I guess part of the fear of horror games is fear of the dark. Fear of the unknown. If you have an infinite flashlight, it's not that scary. You can see everything all the time. That is Mr. Sebastian's motorcycle. It is out of petrol. Here we have the boiler. But with no electricity in the house, I can do nothing with it. <clears throat> what? An old metal box. A rusty old metal box closed shut. 
Cannot figure out how to open it. It holds fuses. Oh, it has been shut with a screw. Several wrenches are missing, and the screwdrivers are gone, too. Not the screwdrivers! Since Cherno's the best Toho, who's the second best? Sakuya. Just kidding, she sucks. Wrecked. <laughs> Boiler functioning, upper panel. Shut down. Press the left button, start, press the central button. Emptying, press the right button. In case of malfunction preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. <laughs> Alright. Don't think I need to worry about that at the moment. thing I just read. I would rather not stare at that painting. I've seen enough dead bodies. Wait, I don't think I explored this room. Yo, Thormental, what's up, dude? Thank you for the 18 months. Happy double sub, baby. Someone bolted the lock to the servants' quarters. Appreciate it, my dude. Welcome back. The alarm system is off. Where are those useless people from the maintenance crew? Alright, I've explored the floor. Let me up. It's so dark. There we go. Hey, what's that? Whoops. Apparently nothing. This plant needs water and fertilizer. The soil is very dry. This is where the hushers kept certain history magazines that are delivered to the house. They are... Interesting. The table is set, but the dishes and cutlery have not been used for days. It's always the same. If we leave a space empty, Mr. Sebastian will fill it up with books. Hmm. Do I have like an objective screen or something? Maybe? How did that mirror get so filthy? Cherno is indeed an ice fairy. And a nice fairy. Uh, there must be somebody on this floor. Let me go up. Let me go up. Let me up, damn it. Heck. Or haven't I looked? Oh my god, Cherno, there are red, blue, and green ghosts behind you. Ah! Oh, yes, of course. I've never went into the bathroom. The mirror is filthy. Quite odd. Hmm. Alright, there's nothing in the bathroom. Just a mirror. That's it. Huh. 
I don't quite know. Can I leave? <laughs> Bye. Oh, dude, I can. Peace out, nerds. I'm out of here. There's nothing. My work here is done. Goodbye. I do not know who that car outside belongs to. Oh. Saul's tricycle. He must have been riding it around the yard. It's jammed. I will have to go... Th oh, right. I have to go around in the house to get outside there. That was my goal. I just forgot. <clears throat> oh, what's the best way to get out there? Maybe there's a back door or something? Through the garage, maybe? I didn't really take the greatest look around the garage. No door there to go through. Never mind, there's a whole lot of nothing. Well then. Let's see here. That's locked, I can't touch this. Oh wait, this door. The door to the basement is locked, damn it. Yeah. Is that the door that our other friend is eternally trapped behind? Wait, there's other doors over here I don't think I went into. I don't think I went into this room. Never mind, it's the kitchen. Well, that's lame. Hmm. Have I ever played Clock Tower? Yeah, I played the first one. I got probably the worst ending you can get, and that was all I played of it. Maybe this is like Silent Hill PT. Now that the clock rang a few times. I now have to walk exactly 10 steps and stop until I hear a baby crying. <laughs> hmm. So right now I know I need a screwdriver. That's like what I've deduced so far <laughs> with all my wandering around. I need a screwdriver. Huh. Think, think, think. Feel free to throw some ideas my way, chat. I'm not super against a little bit of backseating today. Thank you, Melancholy Soliloquy, for the five months. Appreciate it. I missed a door in the small hallway before the dining room. I gotcha. One sec, chat. I'm trying to win, yes. <laughs> it's not working out, but I am attempting. Thank you, Nick Senpai, for the 16 months. Appreciate it. 
He missed the door in the small hallway before the dining room. This is the small hallway. Oh, do you mean... In this room? Oh, this door. I did miss it. Oh, there's a kitchen! Of course a house would have a kitchen! It all makes sense now. Drawing by Saul. That is very dark. <laughs> Masha must have made some coffee. Oh dear, I must clean up this mess. That wire is dangerous. Just pour some water on it. That'll fix it. Oh shit, it's a ring. I do not know where this ring came from. Hmm. Bottom half of a key, ah. Do I have it in my inventory? I'm going to assume I do. This is where Masha keeps the cookbooks we brought from Russia. The apples are moldy. Odd. It seems nobody has eaten any fruit lately. Who wants to eat moldy fruit? Just... <laughs> Probably. Just... Just... <laughs> just lick the wires. Somebody lock the door to the cold room. Oh shit. We're starting to get dingier. Mm -hmm. Oil can, a rusty can of motor oil. This oil is a fine lubricant for the car. All that is left are tins with preserves. Nobody has done the week's grocery shopping. Alright, so I have oil, I have a key, or part of a key. Um, hmm. Oh! Oh shit. Shit's happening now, chat. What was that noise? You better take a look before you got back out. Before you go back out. To press your ear against a door, walk up to it. When you see the listen icon, press and hold. While you're listening, pay attention to the sounds that come from the other side. Oh shit. What was that noise? It seems like the coast is clear. From now on, you can listen to what's happening on the other side of unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have the chance to do it with other doors as well. Pay attention to the icons when you're near one. Use your map to find your way around. It records every single place you've expo explored so far. To open it, press M. The map will be constantly updated with relevant information. Don't forget to check it out once in a while. If there is anybody in the house, I must find them. Uh-oh. Wait, was that me? No. Was that me saying that? Or was that some spooky dude? I think that might have been me, yeah. Should I do that on, like, every door? Or else I'll get wrecked, or it doesn't matter. Hold on, my ears are cheap. Eh. I can't do it on this door. No. 
I mean, I have part of a key. I'm gonna go back to the garage with this oil. Or maybe the car. No, the garage. Oh, hey, it's the study. I don't think I came here with this character yet. It's just a, Sebastian's bureau is like a tiny museum. I do not know what these handbooks are for, but Mr. Sebastian consults them quite often. It's stuck. I must grease it. I have oil! Nice. I got the key. Master key. <gasps> oh shit, that should open every door in the house. Or most of the doors in the house. Uptime, eight hours. Masha used to insist I read them. She finally gave up. There's a couple doors that are locked. I don't know if I should go into the basement. Oh, God. The, like, nothing happening in this game is starting to make me antsy. Hello? Hello? I don't understand you. Sol, is that you? What is this? I need to find the children. And where is Masha? Not sure what nationality this guy is. Russian. Oh, Russian. I should know. I have one of the worst Russian accents in the world, and I do it all the time. <laughs> I kill kids first. Where were those doors that were locked? Now that I have the key, I can't find where they are. I'm just back here. Gotta go back, gotta go back. Oh, wait. This door was locked, I think? No, the other door was locked. This is the bathroom again. I just fucking love bathrooms. I can't help myself. There was a door in here that was locked. I think it was this one. Oh, no, that one's bolted. Right. No, I will not listen. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm a smart boy. Thanks, Kitty. Uh. Wasn't it this door? I think this door was locked. Yeah, this door was locked. So now I can use the master key. Yeah. Can I press my ear against the door? Nope, guess I'm dead. Screwdriver! Nice. A flathead screwdriver. This looks good for stabbing.
Julia and Saul's notes. A scribbled piece of paper from the smoking room in the Husher mansion. I saw another door yesterday. As I was walking by the dining room, I suddenly heard the music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mummy. But when we came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was an old door here, different from the rest. It even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I'll go inside and leave the door open. That way, Mummy will believe me. I saw the weird door, Julia said. The one that wasn't there before. They're gone. <coughs> Heavenly Father. Huh. Well, I have the screwdriver. Well, I have the screwdriver now. So maybe I should see what's in that box in the garage. Vivaldi. I have not heard him for so long. The only Vivaldi song I know is, I think, Summer. Either Summer or Winter. One of them's a super banger. Oh, God. Uh Mash Are you okay, I am me? <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> That was stressful. <sighs> I love you, I am me. Feel better. Feel better, my dude. Thank you for the 35 months, man. Give him your energy chat. <laughs> Luckily, you made it this time. You're safe for now, but don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it could still be lurking in the shadows. Certain events will give you the chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you have already visited. Just remember to be extra careful. It might save your life. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. My mind is playing tricks on me. Yeah, I don't think I'll go in there. That doesn't sound good. Oh no, did I fuck up? Oh, I can go upstairs now. <laughs> Thank you, to Top Honeydus, for the three years. <laughs> I don't mind that. Thanks, man. I need to find the garage again. Don't know, or don't remember where it is. Oh, that's good, I am me. I'm glad. It's good to see you again, man. Uh, was this the garage? I think the garage is one of these. I always end up in the bathroom. I don't know what it is. I always forget where the bathroom is, and I always end up in it again. I'm like drawn to bathrooms. I, I don't understand. That's every single horror game that has a bathroom. I do it. Yeah. There we go. I found the garage. Telling me to take a shower. I had one four weeks ago. Thank you very much. Yeah. And by four weeks ago, I mean last night. Doesn't mean that. <laughs> I 
Where's the box? Lily describes smell. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell was that little box I found? With the screwdriver hole in it. I don't remember where I saw it. Is it in my inventory? Maybe it's in my inventory. I think I picked it up and took it with me. I think that's what happened. That's probably what happened. I'm pretty sure my boss is going on four months with no shower. Ew. You trying to be a smash pro? Uh, I guess I'll go upstairs now because it's letting me. Huh. It does have co-op, the new one. It does? That means I can play? Yeah. You mean it? Yeah. Luigi's co-op mansion. Luigi's mansion co-op. <laughs> With Lily. There's nothing unusual out there. This is one of the oldest. It was painted in February of 1634. Wait, it's not co-op? Didn't they advertise co-op? There's a two-player mode. You lied to me! Only multiplayer is? Wait, is it one of those games that doesn't have local co-op? It is co-op? I'm getting mixed signals. <laughs> It's co-op, it takes like an hour to unlock. Oh, what? You gotta unlock Gooigi. Oh. Alright. An image of Catherine, Husher's wife, with their children, Julia and Saul. Do not look at this fo- well, it's a little too late for that. <laughs> What's going to happen? It adjusts our system. Oh, really cool. uh, sweet. Fuck. <laughs> the Golden Bonfire. Masha says it is one of Mr. Sebastian's best books. Coast seems clear. I'm going in. Guess what, chat? I found the other bathroom. <laughs> A dishcloth. You need Woo 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 woo. I love these dishcloth physics. I'm like getting a little nervous. I'm like doing things and nothing's happened other than the black tentacles. Thank you, Dirt Wizard, for gifting a sub to Andy. 12 Handy. Or that's an R in lead speak and it's like Randy. Yeah, I'm not going into that room with the black stuff on the doorknob. I'll pass. Thank you. Figurines and souvenirs of the Hashers. They have traveled very much. <clears throat> oh, I didn't listen to the door. 
Oh no, we're fine. Yeah. I cannot turn on the floodlight if I do not plug it in first. <laughs> Happy anniversary. No, not you, cutie. Are my frames becoming slain? My internet's been holding on better than I thought it would today, so I mean, that's good at least. <laughs> This is a really nice terrace. Imagine taking your morning coffee there. Imagine bending your maid over the terrace. They left a sack of fertilizer here for plants, but it was never used. They seem to have used this battery to turn on the floodlight, but now it's disconnected. Thank you, Singularity, for the 21 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> no. Wait, was this the bathroom? Nope. The guest room. I have the master key, though. I can unlock it. Alright. I don't hear anything. Oh no. Here we go again. I shouldn't have looked at the picture. A replica of an old sailboat. Fucking damn it. All right, I'm starting to get a little jumpy. <laughs> One of the novels that Masha brought from our country. The switch turns on the bedroom lights. To make it work, I need to get the electricity on in the house again. Yeah, no. Yes, I'm still Satania. I haven't changed. <laughs> yeah, Lily's been a bunch of things. I've just been Satania. I've been the bullied one. There is nothing unusual out there. I don't want to go into that room. I'm just going to die. Someone took down the painting that was hanging here. Surely they took it to the basement or attic. Oh, hello. There's a child running across on the end of the hallway. The fuck? Yeah. I gotta investigate. Mm -hmm. Dear Sebastian, I wanted to tell you firsthand that I will be taking some much needed time off, which means that the store will be closed as of tomorrow. I wanted you to hear it from me rather than read it on a sign on our door. My daughter is currently traveling, and I must confess I can't keep up with our everyday demands on my own, especially since I haven't been able to sleep well lately. As soon as she's back, we will be open for business again. Rest assured, you will be the first to know. I hope to feel better by then. Please give my warmest regards to your family. Sincerely, Isaac Farber. <laughs> Alright, this room seems good. I'm Satania Burning Valkyrie. The old record player. Nobody uses it anymore. Oh. Elevation plan of the Husher Mansion. 
Erect scaffolding, paint exterior, repair leaks, fix loose tiles, check old pipes. I've got some more. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. <sighs> oh no. I like to talk to police. Someone's crying in there. I don't think I should go in there. This is a really neat concept for a game. I like it a lot. To be like so careful. It's definitely a little tense. Ah, my nose. Maybe those tendrils are gone and I can, this is the wrong way. Good. I'm pretty sure you just die, lurker. Hail Mary, full of grace. Uh, it's unconfirmed, but that's my best guess. What the fuck was that? The house just shook. Well, um, I'm scared. I don't think I went this way. What's this? Uh -huh. Remote control. Oh, is this for the garage door? Yeah, it is. Garage door remote control. Hmm. Oh, I can use this to get to that other area. Thank you, Blurvex, for the 47 months. Appreciate it. Mr. Sebastian's encyclopedias and dictionaries. More reference books. Oh. That's fine. Just some static. We're fine. We're good. Nothing to worry about. African masks. Miss Catherine loves them. Someone split the key to the storage room in two parts and left half inside the lock. Let me just quickly stick it there with no glue. I don't have any glue. I have a flask. Wait a minute, I should combine this with this. Yeah. Fuses. No. Alright. Thank you, Udasaur, over the 27 months. Appreciate it. The landscape is one of Mr. Sebastian's favorites. It was printed in 1905. Fuck Mr. Sebastian. I'm gonna go open the garage door. That's a good point. <laughs> Can't say I have, Cora. Thank you, Zaya, for the 55 months. Thank you. Appreciate it. I hear crying. Hey, nutty kids. Who's crying? Who is crying? I feel like I should be luck. I should consider myself lucky. But I um, 
No, that was a dog. Is there an inventory button? Oh, it's I. Oh, right. Electricity is important. I need to find the fuse box. These are boiler functions. That's not the fuse box. Here we have the boiler, but with no electricity to the house. I mean, it sounds like nothing. Mm -mm. I should be able to open it with the mat. The fuse box, generally in the basement, unfortunately. <laughs> Last place I want to go in a horror game. But I don't have a choice, do I? So let's go. Oh, it is very dark down here. Dear Julia, if you found this note, congratulations. You're one step closer to solving the puzzle I've prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. I've hidden your, your favorite doll in the safe and changed the combination, since you aspire to become a detective when you grow up. I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. <clears throat> the new combination is as follows. The number of our street address, Saul's age, so one of them's seven. The decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. Good luck, my dear inspector. Hugs and kisses from daddy. Thanks, daddy. More broken junk and useless rubbish. Yeah, I don't think that's right, Lurker. But that doesn't seem like the right combination. <clears throat> Those bottles of wine are gifts made to Mr. Sebastian by his fans. It's not on the floor. Looks like I can touch it. Oh no, that's not on the floor. Never mind. That's the wine bottles. Until the children are a little older, these expensive vases must stay down here. Another of the old wardrobes was cleaned out. A whole person fits inside. That seems like important information. Ah, here's the fuse box. I need to blow my nose. Hold on a second. I am boogering up a storm. There we go. For the love of God, did the fuses go out again? It's a fuse puzzle. Shit. 25 amp, 50 amp, 30 amp. Is the house going to blow up if I put him in wrong? Or are they color coded? They are not plugged in right. The fuse box is as old as the one we had in the army. Shit. probably hints for this around the house mm. 
Hmm. Yeah, there's probably a hint for it somewhere. Maybe in the room where this is located. That would make the most sense. Oh, God. Fucking... <laughs> Kind of startled me there. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe there isn't a hand. Twenty amp. God, old fuse boxes are weird. Doing well, Diva. How are you? I thought they were maybe color-coded, like, you know, the green one goes over where the green wires are connected. But there's no blue one. I guess this is technically red. And that would go there. That's not right. Oh well, guess I'm coming back here. I think I need to use all four. So I don't think adding up to the amount's gonna really do <laughs> anything. What's up? Oh my god. He's adorable. He's so round. <laughs> huh. Maybe I should figure out the safe combination. So it's the kid's age, which is seven. And what what else was it? Kid's age. The year. Of a painting upstairs, and there was one more thing. Hmm. I don't know if I can access my logs. I oh, am yeah, the street address. So I don't remember the street address. Uh, Fucking stop. Holy Mary, I do not know what is happening. I hear a heartbeat. I don't know if that's mine or from beyond the door. What are you doing, evil bit? I think it's safe. Ah, uh, it's stressful. There's a painting by the stairs. I think it's this one that's gone. That's the painting I need to look for. I don't think it was in the basement, so it's probably in the attic? Wherever the hell that is. Where would the attic be in this place? What's the story so far? One of our people went missing. He went into this room as he was finding the noise of a, the source of a music box sound. And he got like trapped in there forever. Hey. You don't like coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, chat. So much longer. In the stream? Yeah, when did you start? I started at noon. Oh, so it'll go to so midnight. 
nothing too crazy remaining. Chat, would you like? You can't see it. It's a coffee crisp. But it's, it's a, a coffin, chocolate. Coffin crisp. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was a little dark. I'm gonna assume that's my character's heart rate, and I can go in here just fine. I'm blind now, thank you. <laughs> Too bright. <laughs> All right, good effort. Good effort. My eyes. Uh, there we go, see ya. Bye, Dad. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Oh, here we are again. Is this safe now? <laughs> it's true. No, that's not safe. <sighs> I'm like wondering, is it instant death or do I have a chance to fight? Yeah, I hear something weird. <laughs> Understandable. Oh, nice. Yeah, so my head's been getting itchy. So I've been like scratching and it's been fucking up the wig. This is what happens, man. I don't think these wigs are meant to be worn for 12 hours straight. <laughs> huh. No wig got as disheveled as the Miku wig, though. That was literally falling apart. Astolfo and Satania wig just get a bit messy. These are still salvageable at the end of the day. Miku wig was fucking toasted. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I don't doubt it. Yeah. Turn you can pre-order Doom Eternal. I don't want to pre-order. <laughs> There's a garage. I know where the fuse box is. I could try to just sit down there and brute force it. That's always fun. There's also the safe. Yeah. But I can't touch that because I don't know where one of the paintings is. There's got to be a note for the fuse box somewhere in the basement. There has to be. If I can remember where the basement is. Hey, Skyline. Back in the study. Oh, I heard that. That sounded like someone running. A fucking heartbeat noise stresses me out. Stop it. I don't like it. Hey, Incantorum.
Welcome home. Uh, fuck. Where's the basement? I don't think the basement's going to appear if I keep going in the same room. I can't remember if this was bad or not. I'm going for it. I don't know, there was a door that conne connected here that was bad. This one, I think, over here. Or was it this one on the other end? Uh. Fuck it. Oh. I'm okay so far. Thank God. Back into the kitchen. Thank you, BT Phoenix, for the 37 months. Welcome back. Thank you. All oh, right, there was this on the floor that I need to fix. I could fix it with the cloth. Or the nothing. I don't have anything to fix it. I could burn it all down, that would fix it. Mm. That's no good. I think it was this room that's bad. Oh, that one's clear. Oh! Right, this door is locked. I can open it. Excellent. Very nice. Alright, let's go into the cold room. Burr! We emptied the wardrobe before bringing it here. A person would fit inside now. Good heavens. That bird exploded. Firewood! Hey! Where's the fireplace? Right there. Clutter that Mr. Sebastian did not want lying around. We should not throw away, but would not throw away either. I got firewood. Thank you, S Killer, for the 42 months. Welcome back. Thank you kindly. At some point, do you need to hide? That's what it's like implying, but I'm actually not sure if that's the case. So I have firewood, I have matches, I need to... Alright, that got me. Anybody there? Sorry. <laughs> I'm like really focused now. So, everything is making me jump. Scared Lily as well. I startled you. Apologies. You're fearless. <laughs> no, the door, like, rattled that my character jumped because of it. And I also jumped because of it. Ah, 
crap. Um, was there a fireplace anywhere? Maybe in this room? I assume I need to use, stop, use this wood and these matches for some kind of fireplace, but I could be wrong. Yeah, there's three hours left straight. All of the bottles are out of place. I've also been fighting off a cold the past week, so it's probably getting exacerbated a little bit with the long stream. Thanks, Master. Oh, that was playing. <clears throat> All right. There's a lot going on. I'm slowly figuring it out, though. Uh, so what do I have again for inventory? I have a garage door opener, cloth, A key, which I need glue for, fuses, and firewood. Small pile of logs. <laughs> Where was that basement again? I do need to go back down there. I just can't remember which door led to it. I think it was this one. Yeah. That one's bolted. I don't think I can go in there, even with the master key. Because it's bolted and not locked. <clears throat> oh, I don't even have the master key anymore. I guess I used it to its maximum uses. This is just the garage again. And I don't think there's any information on the fuse box in the garage. Hmm. Also, no, I did not get my flu shot. Yeah, I definitely should. Before I road trip into December. Should probably get my flu shot. Yeah. I'm also going to get a foldable shovel. And some other things just in case I get stuck again. I know, but just to be safe. I am not vaccinated now. I was when I was younger. I just haven't caught up on my vaccines in forever. I'm not anti-vax. I, I fully believe in vaccinations. I just haven't done it for pure lazy reasons. I don't think so. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten any vaccines for anything since I was like a teen 
I don't know how long, like, tetanus vaccines and stuff last. That's the real horror. <laughs> I'm contagious, chat. <laughs> Who wants to give me a hug? Aw. No, no hand holding on to me. Okay. Kitty. <laughs> where the hell's the basement? Chat, do you remember where the basement is? Serious question. I keep I keep getting I lost. Well <laughs> Check the map. Oh, right, there's a map. Why do I always forget there's a map? In every game. In every game. You literally have a giant of map. Huh. Yeah, about getting lost with the map. <laughs> Alright, none of these show the basement. Excellent. Or a door that could lead to the basement. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I found it a few times before. I just legitimately don't know how often you're supposed to get vaccinated. Every 10 years? Oh. On the sh probably on the floor over there still. Ask your doctor. I should. No, my like my family doctor disappeared off the face of the planet. He hasn't been around for like two years. I don't have a family doctor right now. To keep up with anything. <laughs> he might have found the music box. I haven't had a primary care physician in the last two or three years. <clears throat> Basement, 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 basement. Where the hell is it? <laughs> Not in this room. Stop going in this room. He's apparently coming back in 2020, allegedly. We'll see. Damn it, I'm so lost. But why though? This is the bathroom again. Okay, good. I'm recognizing that I'm going into the bathroom. <clears throat> what Ryarid? Jesus. <laughs> this leads to the garage. Oh, is this the basement? Doi. God. <laughs> quick chat. We have to quickly do this again. Where to go? I don't know where Kappa went. Cap is gone. He died.
Yeah, Kappa's gone. Oh no, he's over here. Summon. We must summon the golden Kappa by using this as a sacrifice. Dawn the Black Veil. And set yourself aflame. <laughs> Anyways. Kappa. That'd be unfortunate if that really weak LED candle started a real fire. That would be some bad luck right there. Okay, so... What are the amperages? We have 25, 20, 15, 10. So, potentially, I need to do some math. So, the green one... is going into the one on the left, the one in the middle, and the one on the right. So I think if I put the 25 there, then that should be 25 going into the one on the top left. But there's also red and green going, or red and blue going in there, so that would overcharge it. So what I'm thinking is, I put the 10 down on the bottom right, Fifty is in the middle. Fifty is the yellow and the green. No, I don't think that's gonna work. Cause then if I do twenty-five there, that's thirty-five only in the middle one. That's not enough amperage. So maybe Hmm. I don't think I can take it out either. I don't think that's right. Restart. So let's try... Let's try 20 in this bottom slot. But then we'd only get to 45. That's still not enough. I don't think there's... And 30 would be far right. That's red and green going in there. So I need to put a 10. Now we have a 15 and a 25 left over, which are both too much, I think. There's a blue and a red. Oh no, that'd be 25 right here. <sighs> I think I had all of them right, but one of them. I'm definitely on the right track. This is definitely the correct train of thought for this. So how am I going to get to 50 on the middle one? It's got a yellow and it's got a green. Yeah, there's a fuse on the bottom. It's a 25 fuse. Sorry. So I think if I put... Twenty-five in the bottom 
left. That puts that up to 25. Those are great. I can't physically get to 50. No matter what I do, I don't think. If I put that there, that would get it to 40, but then I'm missing a 10. And there's only two going into that middle one. There's green and there's yellow. There's no red or no blue. No two fuses can hit 50. Uh, I need to like get that one to 25, that one to 50, that one to 30. Yeah, that's, that's 25. There's a green one that goes into it as well. But the highest I can get there is 45. I don't think I'm missing another fuse. That, like, maybe there's two 25 fuses? Far right one has red and green going into it. Green goes into all three of them. So if I put 25 in there, I fuck myself because oh, I, I have to put a blue and a red in. So 25 in the bottom left is safer just because there's only... Yellow goes only into one of them and that's the one that needs to be 50. So that makes the most sense there. Only way to get 50 is 25 plus 15 plus 10. Yeah, and I can't actually get to that because there's only two colors that go into that one. As far as I can tell, unless I'm missing something with one of the wires. Maybe they're from left to right. I mean, 50's in the middle, whether you're going right to left or left to right. It's like too hard to tell which goes into what based off of the wires. The order might not matter. Possibly. Because yeah, 50 needs three fuses, 100%. And the only one that has three fuses is the top left one. So if that one's 50. Then 25 should probably go it also feeds into the top right one. If that one ends up being 25, then we can't put anything else there. So maybe 25 should be in the top left corner. Yeah. I'm thinking.
Huh. What? <laughs> Theoretically? And then that one's either 30 or 25. I'm gonna stick this one here. And then that one ends up being 25. We would do this. Oh, I think that was it. No. No, I did it. I definitely did it. That's it. But there's a wire in the kitchen now that needs to be fixed before I can turn this on. But I did it. God, that was a puzzle and a half. Yeah, I'll love, love some water. Yeah. Thank you. We fucking did it. Uh. Trick has died for Halloween. That's the real spook. So now I need to figure out a way to fix the bare wire in the kitchen. To do that, maybe something in the safe for that. Or like, I combine stuff together. Chad, are you excited? Soon, Chur Fairy will be transformed to Chur Santa. Oh, thank you. Time to hydrate. Oh, uh, yeah. It's much more refreshing than constant cans of Diet Coke. Like, maybe I can combine this with the matches and light everything on fire. I really just want to burn this house down. I think that's my goal. Really just want to start a fire. So we're missing a painting. These puzzles are like hard, but they're not bullshit. So it's actually, yeah, it's actually like, it's, they're fun puzzles. They're well made. They fit the atmosphere. They're not just haphazardly thrown in and are super difficult for no reason. They're like legit. They're good. And I'm amazingly still alive on this character. I really thought he would be dead within the first hour. So that's excellent. Is this a permadeath type game? Yes, it is. Once the character dies, they're gone for good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to go to the suicide room chat. It's called the suicide room. I refuse. I am very sure. Huh. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Grill tongs. This could bridge the connection of that wire in the kitchen.
and also electrocute myself, but, you know, minor details. I'm gonna try it anyways. This game is very atmospheric, Evo. It's not one of those spooky games that relies on things jumping out at you every three minutes. Uh, kitchen's on the first floor. Somewhere on the first floor. It was, oh, it was in that little hallway area. Yeah, this is the inf the infinity candle. I love it. Oh yeah, PT was terrifying. Definitely. There's the dining room. Kitchen is over... Where was it again? I don't think it was over here. Ah, yes. There was the door over here that led to it. Alright, now we're going to use the tongs and electrocute ourselves. Wait. Oh, there it is. Wait, where'd it go? I can't really see it anymore. There it is. I need something for drying this. How about this cloth? Zap. Oh, is that it? Is that all I had to do? Well, I'll be damned. That's, that's it. That's everything I needed. Now I can go back to the basement. Didn't I try that earlier? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh well. It's fine. It worked out now. So yeah, back to the basement. I needed to wait for some of the water to evaporate. Ah, yes, that makes the most sense, obviously. I think it was in this room. Who puts their basement so far out of the way? I guess a lot of people do. Spook. So now I should be able to flip this switch and have power to the house. And thus beating the game. Right? Ta-da! Good. That will help. We have light now. Yeah. Feel like I shouldn't get too cocky. I'm gonna waltz into something. Yeah, I don't need this stupid candle anymore. I think there were a few things I could do now that the power's on. I don't remember any of them. But I vaguely remember clicking on some things that said, come back when there's power. Oh, one was upstairs and outside. And the other was the garage door. Right. The alarm works now. Bathroom. Thank you, Cozy Kitty, for the 41 months. 
Appreciate it, thank you. Oh, hello. Fucking spooky lady. I really hope I'm not going to instantly regret this decision. Oh yeah, I can also touch the boiler now. Pipes are leaking. before I cause an explosion and die. Shut down, press the left button, start, press the central button, everything, press the right button. In case of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Chiasa, for the 26 months. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. YOLO. Literally in this game. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm alive. I'm alive, baby. Thank you, Chiasa. Battery clamps. Mr. Sebastian left one of his folders in the car. Dumbass. Big silly dum dum. Oh god, I heard a dog. The children's mouths water when they see Masha and me cooking shish shishliki on the grill. Ah, yes, shishliki. I did not have time to plant new grass for the lawn when I left to care for my brother. Oh my god, there was a vehicle that drove by. That's actually kind of calming to see someone else. I thought I was alone out here. What a weird, weird sense of relief. <laughs> Another vehicle passing by causes. Alright, so now I have nipple, I mean battery clamps. Which I can do things with, I guess. No. Stop making noise. God, I don't like all that shit that I'm hearing. Uh. I've made so much progress, I don't want to lose a bit. It's so stressful. Oh, right, I have the battery clamps. I can go up the stairs now and actually do what I need to do outside. Please don't fuck me. Don't fuck me, game. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Ah! God damn it. It's 
Something terrible is drawing near. You need to hide before it's too late. Look around you to find a place where you can go undetected. Fuck. Quickly. Into a hiding place. Oh, that is a stressful camera angle. Ah, fuck. You managed to hide from the darkness, but the worst is yet to come. Try to keep a level head. To calm down, follow the rhythm of your heart beat by pressing space once at the beginning of each heartbeat. Don't let your heart beat too fast or you'll start to panic. Above all else, don't look at it. That's actually really cool. <laughs> oh boy. Holy Lord. What exactly has happened here? <laughs> Thank you, Speedy Boy, for the 59 months. I appreciate it. Mr. Sebastian brought these toys from his friend, Mr. Farber's store, many years ago. Too easy for the rhythm game master. Yeah, like the waiting for something to happen is killing me. I've been like pretty tense for the majority of this, especially the more progress I make, the more stressful and tense it gets. So like any little thing is terrifying. Please don't electrocute yourself. Alright, I guess I want to use a floodlight. I suppose I could rotate the floodlight. God, I hope nothing jumps out at me. This is going to be fucking rude. Time to signal Batman. Can I start a fire by focusing the light? There's a lot of mechanics in this game. It's pretty neat. Overall, super good game. Hmm. Not sure what I should be doing with this or if there's even a solution right now. Maybe I have to do other stuff. Oh, what? Oh, I see. I can use it to get rid of this gunk, I think. Yeah. That makes that go away. Cool. So now I can go in there. was this door. We're clean. Let's go. Julia. Naked Julia. Those were some wholesome bots. Uh -huh. A new room. One of these modern type music groups that kids listen to. I prefer Tchaikovsky. Yes, yeah, same, honestly. Typical poster like the ones kids put up. A voice recording of Husher's Children. The label on the cassette reads J and S, September 14th, 98. Mommy's really scared. Something is watching us. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Julia's bed made like in the military, but there's dust on the bedspread. Nobody has slept here in days. It's instant glue. I can go back to wherever the hell that key was. You think I remember now? Oh fuck. What's happening? Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Hi, Zoe. Stop. It's getting worse. Ah. <sighs> I'm trapped. I can't leave this room. Any devils in this chat? I'm a devil. I'm Satania, dude. Uh, combine, no. Mm -mm. Maybe I can burn my way out of here. I just, I re I'm craving pyromancy. Something must burn. Why did I just leave? I pressed the wrong button. I got very lucky there. Another bathroom. Jesus, that toilet stinks. Lick the toilet. Something is clogging the toilet. Use the tongs. Yeah, get in there. You're nasty. You sicken me. Black rag doll. A dirty old rag doll. The poor thing is all patched up. This feels like something I need to burn. It's a mess. Saul must have thrown it in the toilet. For the love of God. I wish I could press my ear against the door. I don't want to YOLO into the darkness. Also, thank you for the host, Silver. I don't know if I thanked you. I've been very distracted. What the fuck is that? Ah, fucking... Die? No! Dude, I just missed a Draconian for fuck's sakes. I'll ban you if that's how you're gonna act all the time. <laughs> it's the <boarding. laughs> Yeah, Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, it might be time for Luigi's Mansion. God, that was scary. <laughs> and so unfortunate. Oh well, feels bad. God, that's a really cool concept for a game. Yeah.